Hello everyone, this is Fan Zhang from AMD AI Marketing, and today I will walk you through this Yellow V8 end to end tutorial on the Ryzen AI software platform. So, before we get out to the workflow, there are some prerequisites we need to uh, install in once. So, the first thing, please get your Ryzen AI laptop ready and install the Virtual Studio 2019. Well, if you are using some other versions of Visual Studio like 2022, it may still work, but the scripts need to uh, get modified a little bit. Besides, um, you need to install either the Anaconda or Miniconda and the Git as well. Okay, so after you install all of this, the first step, uh, you need to install the IPU driver. You can either use the, the link here or go to our Red AI uh, documentations to download the IPO driver and also the, the software packages to enable the Red AI hardware. Okay, so in this workthrough video, I have created a folder in the desktop which has there's two packages downloaded already and we will just start from here so at the very beginning we will just extract these packages okay so you will see a, a driver batch file in the folder and we go to the the PowerShell simply execute this batch file to install the driver. Okay, it's done. You can see here it's installed successful. And we can go to the device manager, go to the system device, the app device and to check the version here it's supposed to be 10.16.8.80 okay so this is the correct version afterwards we will extract the other software package We will do install and use dash env to create a kind environment. Um, here we will use yulu8 and to end as example. Okay, so it will check some dependent uh, libraries here. If that's all installed correctly, you will see OK from each line. Then we can simply enter the kind environment, use kind activate command. Right, and we also need to install the Onyx runtime, which is required to build our example. And also the CMake, as this is a C++ examples. You may not need this for Python. Okay, then next one, uh, we need to clone the OpenCV source code to build from source. We can simply just copy the comments here and we will use the branch folder sticks. Right, so we clone it. It's done. Then we will compile the source code. Um, 
we will enter the OpenCV folder and create a new folder named my build here and we just put all the compilation codes within this my build folder Okay. And we need to do build and install afterwards. So we will use this CMake build commands to build the codes. And then install. Okay, done. So now the OpenCV is installed. We will do the same thing for the GFlex and the GLog. So similarly, we will clone the GFlex source code from the GitHub repo. Build a new folder. Compile it. Similarly, we need to do build and install. Okay, and the same thing for the for the G log. Okay, finished. So next step, we can clone the Yellow tutorial from our Ryzen AI software GitHub repo. Okay, and because the IPU supports 8 bits computation only, and when we convert the models from flow point to integer 8, there are some accuracy loss, which we need to use the QAT methodology to bring the accuracy back. However, this QAT is really time consuming, and we can't do this on this laptop, but on a GPU server. So the QAT flow will not be shown in this tutorial. Uh, but if you're interested in that and would like to try yourself, the script is provided. You can simply go to the Ryzen AI software and 
tutorial you elevate end to end and all the script is provided here you can simply use the run qat dot sh use the script to try out the the qat flow and in this tutorial we will simply use the pre-quantized model to show the combination and the implementation so we simply go to the implement and use the build batch file to build the ELOV8 source code okay then then we can use the the jpeg file to quickly validate if the model has been deployed successfully we use run jpeg batch file followed by the quantized model and the input jpeg okay then in our folder you're supposed to see um, a, re a result file yeah this one mm -hmm. so this is the output okay so we have the the bonding box here and this is the input okay so you can see the detection result is looks correct, right? Besides that, we can also use the front camera as our input source. Um, we need to change our display scale from two hundred percent to one hundred percent, and then we execute this camera batch file hello okay so now you can see a live output a bunny box around my face and in the top left corner the fps is around 28 frames per second so it's approximately the real time bye